Every law of attraction YouTuber will tell you the same thing. Hey, you want to manifest something? Just let it go. Just surrender. Let the universe bring it to you. Well, look, I'm the first one who's actually going to tell you how to do it. So stick around and watch this video because this is the last letting go and detachment video that you will ever have to watch on the law of attraction. Talk is cheap, so fuck what people say. When I was 12, a crazy lady told me lead the way. I shed a tear cause it was rare, swore to never stray. Now, now every second is a classic when nothing lasts. Gotta take a moment and appreciate the fact that this world is turning faster and faster. And when she felt the real, it's hard to tolerate the plastic. What's up guys, welcome to the channel, or welcome back to the channel. My name's Abdul, and I'm here to help people develop their lives. But without further ado, y'all, let's get straight into it. Here's the truth. You're so used to holding on, right? You're so used to holding on. And so let me even, let's, let's, let's go a step back. Why do you even get into this state of having to hold on, right? Why is your normal state holding on? Why are you a control freak all the time? This is the question, all right? How did you even get to this point? Now, look, you've probably been so used to life not going your way. Right, you're so used to always having to put extra effort into everything that now, when you want to manifest something, you you want to use the law of attraction, you don't have to do that much. Right, you just have to do things that you're passionate about. But not you though, not you. No, no, no. You're so used to life not going your way. You're so used to losing, not getting what you want, feeling insecure, feeling doubtful, doing all these extra things that you don't need to do. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to tell you the truth. I've obviously been in your shoes. I was insecure. I was doubtful. I was always wondering if I was doing the right thing. But fuck all that. I will, I'm, I'm going to be frank with you. I'm going to be honest with you, right? Think about it like this. I'm going to give you an analogy. If I hold on to this marker, right, and I squeeze it as hard as I can, eventually I'm going to get to a point where holding this marker, I don't even feel it anymore. Right. It's like wearing this hat. Right. If I wear this hat long enough, eventually I'm not going to feel the hat anymore. Right. Or if I'm wearing my glasses long enough, I'm not going to be I'm not going to feel the glasses anymore. Right. It's just like a part of who I am. The glasses are just me. Right. And I forget about it. Just like you holding this marker, just like you always being in control. Right. Eventually you just forget and you say, yep, this is just a part of my identity. This is just who I am. But nah, nah, look, whenever you start doing things differently, right, you get to this point where you're like, this doesn't feel right. This is not me. I'm feeling off. I'm feeling this isn't me. This isn't who I'm used to being, right? When you start to actually let go and you loosen the grip on this or you take those glasses off or I take this hat off, I'm gonna be like, man, something is just missing. What's missing here? Right. And the thing is, nothing is missing. You are evolving. The key is you need to use your emotion. This is how you literally are going to overcome this barrier of being a control freak. All right. Because you know that if you're a control freak, you're not going to be able to manifest anything. What you need to do is this. All right. Close your eyes. Number one. OK, do this with me. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath and calm your body, all right? Now, ask yourself, what is it that I want, okay? When you ask yourself what you want, what you're doing is you're setting a clear intention. You're making sure that you know what you want, okay? That's simple. Now, after you have clarity, I want you to ask yourself this specific question. What would it feel like if this thing that I want happened, okay? What would it feel like if this thing that I want happened? And then visualize a bunch of different scenes, okay, of you actually doing the thing that you want or the thing that you want has already happened. And then I want you to tie those images with a feeling. I need you to feel like this experience that you want is actually happening. I need you to feel greater than you are. I need you to think bigger than your current circumstances. I need you to be bigger than your mind. I want you to be bigger than your current circumstances. I want you to be a conscious creator of your life. 
this is how you let go, okay? You pick a clear intention. This is what I want. Number two, you decide on a feeling. How would this make me feel, all right? What would, what would I feel like if this already happened? You're no longer waiting for an experience outside of yourself to make you feel a certain way. You're no longer controlling everything because you've already lived through what you want. All right. Once you, once you visualize, you can put yourself in any situation. And once you add this emotion, you are adding your body to it. You are already creating a memory. Okay. Memories are just strong emotional imprints. Okay. Think about any memory, any memory that you have. I promise you that whatever was going on in that experience caused you to feel a very, very certain way. And that's why you remember it. That's why we remember any experience. So that is the step-by-step -step process on how to let go. And, I've, and I told y'all, this was the last letting go video you ever have to watch. I never watched a letting go video after I learned this myself. So thank you guys for watching. And if you got any type of questions concerning the law of attraction, how to manifest anything that you want into your life, set up a 15 minute consultation with me and I would love to reveal your blocks and the biggest thing that's stopping you from manifesting your dream life. Without further ado, y'all, I thank you for watching. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, people. Peace, baby.